Yuki Matsui just came off a historic season, notching in a league-leading 39 saves and pitching to a tune of a 1.57 ERA. He is the youngest player in NPB history to reach 200 saves, a 5 some all-star, and has an eye-popping 1.42 ERA over the last 3 years, and is finally making his way onto the big leagues. So, with his success in Japan, this raises one question. Is Yuki Matsui MLB's next superstar closer? Yuki Matsui, no relation to Yankees legend Hideki Matsui, was born on October 30th, 1995 in Yokohama, making him 28 years old. He was drafted with the Rakuten's first pick all the way back in 2013 from Tokugaku in high school. He began his career as a starter in 2014, going 4-8 with a 3.8 ERA before transitioning to a closer, pitching to a 0.89 ERA. He stayed with the role as a closer from then on, leading the MPB in saves in 2019, 2022, and 2023. The 5'8", 165-pound lefty also started a WBC team for Japan in 2017 and 2023. At only 28, he has already established himself as one of the best closers in the NPB. So, let's take a closer look at his new MLB contract. After impressing multiple Padres scouts, the Padres have agreed to sign Matui to a 5-year $28 million deal with opt-outs after 2026 and 2027, as well as an injury clause which can turn the fifth year into a club option. This was the team's first big move this season, and he is projected to be the team's closer moving forward, with Suarez being the setup man. The contract has an AAV of about 5.6 million, which is a whole million lower than the 6.5 million dollars a closer earns on average. So the big question still remains, does Matsui possess the stuff to be a good MLB caliber closer? Let's take a look at some things, which may be of concern. For one, perhaps the most obvious one is Matsui's size. At 5'8", Matsui will be the third shortest pitcher currently in the majors. Although height does not necessarily correlate with a pitcher's success, as we've seen through Marcus Stroman's career, it definitely has an impact on Bilo. Speaking of which, Matsui's fastball sits comfortably around the 92 and 94 range, about league average for a pitcher, but not what we've seen in elite closers. Hayter, Edwin Diaz, Klaus Hay, and many of the elite closers of the sport all throw towards 99 miles an hour and touch triple digits. Another area of concern is Matui's walk rate. Although he posted a career low 5.9% walk rate last year, he boasts a career average 10.9%, 2% over the 8.3% MLB average. MLB hitters are much more patient, and with this transition, there will definitely be an increase in Matui's walk rate. He's also notably a slow worker, and with the absence of the pitch clock in the MPB, the adjustment to the MLB pace of play also probably won't help that walk rate either. When talking about an NPB to MLB transition, it is important to know that the NPB is commonly known as Quadruple A, since it's in between the Major League and the Triple A level. Additionally, the standard NPB ball is smaller, which makes it easier for pitchers to manipulate and spin the ball. In the last WBC, Matsui noted that he struggled adjusting to the MLB ball, which is a big concern. Now that we've taken a look at Matsui's weak points, let's take a look at what makes him such an appealing option for the Padres as a closer. For one, Matsui's stuff is there. Let's take a look at that aforementioned fastball. Although its velocity isn't anything impressive, other aspects make Matsui's fastball impressive. According to MLB.com, Matsui's forcing fastball averages at 92 miles an hour with a 2,471 RPM spin rate. That's high. The MLB average forcing spin rate was 2,283 RPM in 2023. And the vertical movement data for Matsui indicates that his fastball was inducing a strong rise as a result. Let's compare his fastball to two MLB pitchers, Alexis Diaz and Christian Javier, both who have similar velo but rely more on release point and spin rate. The average fastball of Reds closer Alexis Diaz was 94.7 miles per hour, which for a two-pitch guy, it isn't anything spectacular. However, due to his vertical approach angle, the pitch seems faster, coming from a hitter's view at around 97 miles per hour. Similarly, after Christian Javier no hit the Phillies in 2022, Bryce Harper had this to say, just spin rate. He got good spin rate. I mean, 92 looks like 97. It's clear that when it comes from a good fastball, velo isn't everything. Spin rate and the approach angle is what Matui has. And if it's not up to standard, Padres pitching coach Ruben Niebla has shown a lot of success helping NPB pitchers improve their fastball. However, Matsui's fastball isn't the only pitch that looks promising. Among Matsui's four-pitch mix, he has of course his fastball, his slider, and a curveball. However, Matsui's best secondary pitch is by far his splitter, which sits in the high 80s. The pitch is disgusting, averaging 31 inches of vertical drop and a foot of horizontal break. What makes it more intriguing is that in 2023, 96% of splitters were thrown by righties, and the 4% of lefties who did throw it, none of them were of elite Japanese 
Japanese origin. Otani's and Senga splitters both proved to be elite pitchers in 2023, so seeing another Japanese star bring the coveted pitch to the big leagues should bring a lot of excitement for Padres fans this upcoming season. So, is Yuki Matsui the MLB's next big name closer? It's too early to tell, but the stuff to be an effective closer is there, as he has a 32.4% K rate and a 12.7 K per 9 last year in the NPB. He currently is projected to have a 3.33 ERA by fan grabs and to be a multiple innings reliever. A good comparison would be Padres setup man Robert Suarez, who in 2021 led the NPB in saves and had a microscopic 1.15 ERA. After his transition to the MLB, he boasted a 2.25 ERA and had an impressive 168 ERA+. Plus. After a difficult start to his MLB career, it would also be worth mentioning that Suarez does possess a 100 mile per hour plus fastball and that in 2023, he did have an injury-ridden down unit, but the transition was still a success. A lot can be accredited again to Ruben Niebla, who helped both Nick Martinez and Suarez adjust to the MLB level. So, who is to state that the same can't be done for Matsui? I'll leave you guys with this excerpt from an article regarding Matsui's arrival to SD. After arriving in the United States on the 11th, his first stop was San Diego. Matsui and his wife, Anna, toured the stadium facilities and supermarkets selling Japanese food. In addition to the warm climate, which makes it easier to play, the presence of Darvish, a member of the Pacific Army, with whom he competed with in the WBC in March, seems to have been a deciding factor. Thanks for watching, and of course, happy holidays.